Hey everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery again, and today we are working on our next lesson, which is 9 4. Oh, green? I don't want green. Let's use red. And make sure you're on page 377. 377. And so if you're not on that page, please pause the video, hit the space bar, don't go any further until you have this page up. But if you have this page up, then let's get moving. Okay, so let's read what it says. It says, write a two-digit... Oh, my gosh. Write a two-digit number. That means a number that has two numbers put together, like 27 or 97. You know, any two numbers are like this. Are, they're a two-digit number. Any number that has a tens and ones. Okay? Any number that has a tens and ones in it. Alright, so it says to write a two-digit number in the TV, and then to write another different two-digit number inside the radio. Okay, so we have a little television and a radio right here, and we're going to, uh, let's pick two different numbers. We're going to do a few right here. So let's say, um, let's start, you know, let's start with the two numbers that we had. 27 and 97. Okay, and they want us to tell whether they are greater than or less than. Actually, let me zoom in a smidge here. Okay, except um, after we figure out if it's greater than or less than, we're going to start using some symbols that I wish they had a better way to show us on this page, but they don't. They were trying to surprise us on the next page, but I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to let that happen. So, what uh, is 27 greater than or less than 97? So, if you need to, you can draw a quick picture. So, for 27, we have two tens and seven ones. We make seven dots. Oh, start at the bottom here. Six, seven, and then 97 has nine tens. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, just make sure I didn't have too many lines. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell that 27 is not nearly as big as 97. So, it's less than, right? That's the word we would go with. But we're going to start using these symbols that you see at the top of your page. See how uh, I talked about these a little bit yesterday. Kind of looks like two different arrows going two different ways, right? And then we also have an equal sign. We use an equal sign when the numbers are exactly the same. That is the only time we use an equal sign. Okay? So for most of the time, we're going to be using these arrows. And if you remember what I said yesterday, the for the arrows... I always like to pretend it's an alligator mouth, and it wants to eat the bigger number. So you draw a little mouth here, and uh, you can even draw tiny, tiny teeth. Arr, he's super hungry, and he's going to eat this 97 because it's a nice big meal. So he doesn't want the 27 because it's too, it's too shrimpy. It's too small. He wants that 97 because it's a big number. So this is the less than symbol, the arrow that points that way. That is our less than symbol, okay? Let's do a different number. So let me uh, erase some of this stuff here. All right. There we go. Got my eraser. Erase these numbers right here. If you have some extra space on your paper, you can use any extra space you have open, okay? We're going to do a couple examples right here. Okay, what about the number, let's do 45 and 41. Okay, well, you can always draw a quick picture first. So we know 45 has how many tens? Well, 45 has four tens, right? One, two, three, four, and how many ones? 
Well, we see it has five ones. So we make five dots. Two, three, four, and five. And then let's do the same thing for 41. Go ahead and draw the number 41. All right, did you do it? Did you do it? Did you draw 41? Let's see if we have the same drawing here. So we have four tens, right? Four in tens place. So one, two, three, and four. And one, one. So we can see that they ha both have the same number in the tens place, right? They both have four ten sticks right there. But we know that one is bigger because it has more ones. So if they have the same number of tens, you then look at the ones place. And that will tell you what number is bigger. So, what number does the alligator want to eat for these two numbers? Out of these two, which number does the alligator want to eat? He wants to eat the 45. So, we would draw the arrow going this way so we have a mouth open at that 45. Okay, and I would like to draw the teeth. And that alligator is going to eat that 45. Maybe I'll draw, like, some eyes right there. Arr! Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm getting a little carried away with this alligator. But he wants to eat that 45 because it's bigger. And this is our greater than sign. When an arrow is facing or pointing that way, that is our greater than sign. So we would also circle the word greater. All right, let's just do one more. This next one, I'm not going to make you guys uh, do this next one with me. But you can, I'm just going to show you really quick. Let's say we have the number, well, I'll make them small numbers, number 11 and number 11. What would we say for these two numbers? Well, they both have the same number of tens, and they both have the same number of ones, right? So we say that they are equal to. So for this one, we would put an equal sign in the middle. And that's it. We wouldn't say it's greater than or less than. They are equal to because they are exactly the same. All right. So let's go ahead and try some on the next page. We are on page 378. Now that we kind of talked about those arrow signs a little bit, let's work on a couple together. Okay. And if you ever need a little example, there are examples at the top of the page. And you'll notice that if you zoom in, Look, that little alligator mouth is always eating that bigger number. So we have 24 and 42. Well, 42 is bigger, so the alligator eats it. Same thing over here. They just swap the numbers around. That alligator is still going to eat that 42 no matter what. And then over here, we have 35, 38. The alligator is going to eat that 38 because it has more ones. So he's going to eat that one up. All right. So if you ever forget... Which symbol to use, just think about the alligator. The alligator always helps. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do for this first one is I'm going to kind of uh, just erase it and pretend like they never did it for us. Just erase it a little bit. There we go. Much better. I wish they didn't do these for us sometimes. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So we have 28, they gave us the first number, 28. There's two tens and eight ones. Now for here, we have 41. We have four tens and one little itty bitty one. Okay, so is 28 bigger or smaller than 41? It's smaller. So which word means smaller? Is it greater than or less than? Less than. Less always means smaller, so we will write less than. Okay, and now we need our alligator symbol, right? Which number does the alligator want to eat? The 28 or the big 41? Well, of course, he wants to eat that big 41. So the alligator mouth is going to munch on that 41 and gobble it up. All right, 
pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Because as long as we know these words, the symbols are pretty easy. So why don't you go ahead and try number two on your own. I'll give you guys a quick minute for that. All right, are you all done? If you're not done, that's okay. Pause the video real quick. And uh, But if you are, we're going to keep on going. So we have the number 53 and 35, right? So which one is bigger? Or how would we say this? Is 53 bigger or smaller than 35? And remember, if you're not sure, look at those tens first. We have five ten sticks. And over here, we only have three. So 53 is bigger. But we don't say bigger. We say greater, right? Use this word right here. Greater than. So we can go ahead and fill that in. So it's greater than 35. Now, for our symbol, which, way does the which number does the alligator want to eat? What number does that alligator want? Well, he wants that 53, right? So we make that mouth open towards the 53. And if you are feeling uh, fancy, you can just draw some tiny, 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 tiny teeth. Nothing too crazy, just some tiny teeth. Boom. And there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Um, I... I feel like yesterday was a much tougher lesson trying to figure out the words greater than and less than. But after that, the symbols are pretty easy. So if you're not in my class, go ahead, pause the video, pause it or stop it. Tell your teacher that you're all done. Uh, friends in my class, here is your next step. You're going to do your online work. So go to our man in the blue box here. Click on classwork. And the very first one is 9-4. It says quick check. This is the one I want you, want you to do first. There are about three questions on here about greater than and less than. Okay? Uh, if you finish this really fast, the next thing I want you to do is the 9-4 extra practice. You see all these little stars, so do this one second. And what I want you to do is try to see if you can get 100% on the IXL assignment, okay? See if you can get 100%. That is your big mission. And then if you finish all of that, you may go on Pink Cat and practice greater than or less than, okay? And I believe the game is find the bunny. Got it? All right. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope that uh, this was a pretty fun, easy lesson for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.